Alright, and we're back on to the second commander. This one is Shock and Awe. This one's really quite interesting. It's got a unique ability that I find quite trolly, and I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. But this one, Shock and Awe, gives the opponent a oil drum just kind of in their base. So it, it fills the opponent's base with an explosive, which is unique. I really don't know how I feel about it. If only because it takes up space somewhere, and you don't know where, so it really messes things up. And the, the opponent can't can't sell it, which makes things even more difficult. So let's see if we can't uh, give him some troubles with that. I do want to be going for shotguns this time. Is I want to be doing damage. Give us an opportunity to actually capitalize on the explosive barrel that will be placed in the opponent's base. Interesting base design. Next thing I want to be getting is the upgrade center, because we're going to be doing kind of a tech rush. In this case, shotgun rush. There we go. Alright, now we need a place for these shotguns. I'll just put them down here. Mm, like so, and like so. There we are. This will be our shotgun area. Black goes here, and here. And then here. I think I'm going to want to be firing these a little bit before actually turning them into uh, shotguns. Just to check out what he's got down here. Or is it? No, he's... Never mind, he's not building anything exposed. So these can go straight into shotguns. We're definitely going to need more energy. Really going to need more energy. Our base is going to be kind of kind of flimsy. Just kind of hoping my opponent's not shooting at me. But that's that's kind of the state of, state of affairs in this game where your opponents don't actually punish you for doing risky things like leaving all of your weapons exposed. Thanks for great, great memes and excellent showcase games. Not so great for competitive. Oh, another feature about Shakana. You can now put a fourth weapon in with the control group. Not something I'm going to be using, because I don't need four shotguns this time. But it's good to know. So I'm actually going to build myself some doors here. Going to be nice about it. Yeah, look, he, he's building all of these mines. Oh boy, we're going to have to show him what pain means. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to build doors, even though there's no real reason to. And with these turbines, we'll be able to produce enough energy to keep firing for a very, very long time. So without further ado, let us introduce our friend to pain. There's one shot. Don't know what I blew up there, but there was something behind that behind that wall. And there goes all of his energy production. I think a little bit higher and we should slice off that bottom segment. Close the doors. They all missed. Is he running shock and huh? Alright, let me get rid of that machine gunner. There we go. Solve that little nuisance real quick. And then put down a metal storage. So I don't think I can actually do much damage his metal up there. Yeah, that's all just bouncing off. Which means I need to change tactics. 
the downsides of shotguns. Fortunately, we can build ourselves a rocket right here. We've got all the resources in the world to do so. Let me start focusing on his uh, resource production up there, assuming he hasn't defended it with an energy shield or some similar. Which he may just do. Oh, he's putting metal there. That gives me something viable to shoot. Oh, never mind, he's slanting it. I was about to say, that gives me something to shoot at that I can actually damage, but apparently not. So I don't think I can actually get up there anymore? Oh, kind of. Who are the moments? That's about to change. So he is effectively defending against this. Um, rockets are going to change, thing, change things for him. Can I damage that piece of metal up there? No. Okay, so he's now immune to my shotguns. Like, entirely immune to my shotguns. So what I'm going to do is get a couple more rockets to go with it. That way I can actually deal damage to him. I wonder, does he have enough space in there to make himself some heavy weapons facilities? I think he does. Which is kind of concerning. But he doesn't have anything exposed, so he's not going to have any defenses against these rockets. Just in case he rebuilt his machine gun. Which he didn't. Alright then. So I'll just have to run him down with these rockets. Might as well get a few more down here. I was really hoping to show off the commander ability. But uh, at this rate, we're going to blow him up before Commander Ability Bar fills up, which is kind of disappointing. He seems to be running out of resources. You could tell by the metal beams not being completely repaired. So he must have just spent something. Oh, there we go. Those are very likely to be uh, storage facilities. Let me get two more down here. And no damage? No, still no way to damage him. Alright, so I think he's saving up for a heavy weapon at this point. Which means I'm going to want to have extra defenses here. Oh, what did we hit? Did that... Did a rocket come down the bottom and hit this? And those rockets are extremely varied. They do very unpredictable things all the time. Alright then, our second set of rockets are about to be revealed here. This might actually break open his metal in some places. Broke open behind his metal? Hey, he's actually got sandbags behind there. Uh, they're free to repair, so no harm done. But if they weren't free, as they once weren't, then that would just be bad for him to have those. All right, now we've actually broken open some of his, some of his base, and I missed. A little bit higher, please. Still not enough. All right, commander ability. So I'm gonna use this. And it placed a oil drum right there. So if I can hit that, that's going to cause a quite a large explosion. If you guys aren't familiar with oil drum explosions. Which seems close enough to his core that it will probably just outright eliminate him. Which means I really want to be aiming for that real quick here. That's pretty much just ability one-shotting his base, which is incredibly powerful. Oh my, we appear to have disconnected his resources. Let me aim a little bit higher, focus this beam. There we go. Oh, we got the shot, eliminating, well, cutting out a good chunk of his base. It would have done a lot of damage to him. If it blew up that battery, this would definitely have been over right there. But without resources, yeah, those rockets just came from the bottom. Without resources, this is just a matter of time now. Still not able to do damage to their shotguns. Rockets? There it is. Rockets always seem to worm their way into the places you don't want them to be. 
Uh, he's not quite extinguishing things there. I don't think it really matters. This is going to be over anyways. There it is. GG.